take one simple example of a mathematical modeling of a hydraulic system here we have two tanks this tank and this tank both have the input let's say this input is q1 and this input is q3 both of these input will vary with respect to time let the head in the first tank is h1t and head in the other tank is h2t let a1 is the area of the first tank a2 is the area of the second tank r1 is the resistance offered by the first wall and r2 is the resistance offered by the second wall the final discharge is q4 so we have two input q1 and q3 and one output is q4 so this represents multiple input and multiple output system to find out r1 we required a head h1 t and minus h2 t and for r2 we have a head of h2 t there is no head so that equals to zero now as far as the law of conservation of the r is concerned we define the r in the same way that is the head difference across the wall by divided by flow through wall and uh, this is same as sigma mi equals to sigma me plus dm by dt we know that the row is get cancelled so we get the discharge at inlet that is incoming discharge is always equals to outgoing discharge plus the discharge increase in the control volume now consider the tag one and let let write the equation for r1 this resistance r1 for this resistance the head difference across the wall is h1t minus h2t and the discharge through this wall is q2 so we have r1 is equal to h1t minus h2t upon q2t if we rearrange we will get q2t is equals to h1t minus h2t multiplied by 1 by r now we take a laplace the laplace transform of q2t is q2s h1t is h1s h2t is h2s multiplied by 1 by r this term is constant so it is 1 by r whenever we have a addition or subtraction of two signal is always represented by summing point and this complete summing point output is multiplied by one block one by r then we get the value of q2s now check here we have h1s minus h2s the sign of h1s is plus the sign of h2s is negative so we have h1s is one input and to the summing point another input is h2s and this total output generated at the out at the outlet of the summing point is h1s minus h2s and then i am again multiplying with respect to r so introduce one block here and we'll insert the value of 1 by r so that my final answer is q2s now we have to use this equation alternately with the tank 1 and tank 2 and whenever you develop any equation you have to go on continuing developing this diagram the output of the first should become the input and we have to develop the complete diagram in a mathematical form again for tank 1 we will apply the law of conservation uh, law of conservation of mass which is a sum of qi is equal to sum of qe plus dq by dt so laplace this is q1t is the incoming input outgoing is q2t and the rate of change of is area multiplied by height that is area a1 and height is h1t area remains constant so that can be taken outside So Laplace transform of Q1t is Q1s. Laplace transform of Q2t is Q2s plus a1 multiplied by h1s. The Laplace transform of h1t is h1s multiplied by s. So if I solve this equation for h1s, I will get a q1s minus q2s, and this a1s is get divided. So h1s equal to q1s minus q2s multiplied by 1 by hs. Again, this is two signal, and we are subtracted. That is the summing point multiplied by block of one by a s. So this is q one s is the input, q two s is another input. The sign of q one is plus, sign of q two is minus. So output is q one s minus q two s. But there is this value. Now this value is to be multiplied by one by a s, so that my final answer will be equals to h one s. So this is h one s. So I have used two equations for the tank one. I developed two block diagrams. Similarly, again I will use these two equations for the tank two, and I will get another two blocks. If we apply the R equation for tank two, then the head difference across this wall is H two minus zero. So R two T will be H two minus zero, and the discharge through this one is Q four. So is the correction here? Instead of Q two, it should be Q four because the discharge through this wall is Q four. So you get Q four T. Is equal to one by R S two T, or if you take a Laplace transform, we'll get Q four S is equal to one by R equals to H H of S. So H two S is multiplied by one by R two, we'll get Q four S. 
So this is equation number three, and this is the corresponding block. We have to develop one more equation. That is, we have to apply law of conservation of mass to the tank two. So there are two inputs for this tank. One is Q3 and one is Q2. But as far as tank one is concerned, there is only one input. So for tank two, one is input is Q3 and other input is Q2. Outgoing is only Q4. Q4. Height of this tank is S2 and the area of this tank is A2. So we have two input. One is Q2, one is Q3. The outlet is Q4 and area is A2. Area is A2 and multiplied by dH2T by dt. That is the head rate of change of head of tank two. If we take a Laplace transform, we'll get Q2s plus Q3s is equal to Q4s plus A2 times s. That is the derivative because therefore s H2s. So if we solve for H2s, we'll get Q2s plus Q3s, and this Q4 will shift to that side. So this is minus Q4s, and this whole term is divided by a one by A2s. Now check here. There are three signals. One is a Q2, one is Q3, one is Q4. Q2 and Q3 are positive sign, and Q4 is negative. So we have a summing point here with plus minus. So Q2s is positive sign, Q3s is positive sign, and Q4s is negative sign. Output of this one is Q2s plus Q3s. Minus Q4s, which is same as this bracket. Now is to be multiplied by one by a. So we introduce one block of one by a2s, and your final and your final answer is h2s. As per seen from this figure, we have Q1, then H1, then Q2, then H2, and then finally Q4. So I start with this block first, that is Q1s. From this, I will generate first H1s. I will connect this H1s block. That is this block here. That is H1s. From this, I will get value of Q2s. From Q2s, I will this Q2s I required here. So I will connect this block at this point. From this, I get H2s. And finally, I will get Q4 using this block. That is input is H2s and one by R2 is equal to Q4s. Now let's start this. So we'll start with the first block is equal to block number two. First, we'll show the block number two here. That is a uh, Q1s, Q2s, plus minus, and multiplied by one by as. So here one by a1s. Once I get h1s, I will try to generate Q2. Therefore, I will use the figure number one here, which has the input of h1s, and one more input is h2s, and we have one by r1 is equal to Q2s. From Q2s, I want to generate H2s, so I will use this figure. This one is plus value. So I just connected this block to get value of H2s. Once I H2s, I will connect the block number three here, and that is my final value equal to Q4s. So I connected here the last block that is Q4s. So input is Q1, output is Q4. And wherever I got a Q2, I will connect this Q2 to here. I got H2. H2 is developed here, so I will generate generate one H2 to this side, one Q2 to this side, and this Q3 and this Q4. So I will connect this Q4 somewhere here. So we require Q2 here, so we connect Q2 to this one with the unity feedback here. I require H2 here, and I develop H2S here, so I will take the signal from here. Is overlap and I will finish to this one. It is H2S. This one is A1S. But this is also a unity feedback system. And finally, I want Q4 here, so I connect Q4 to this side. Now you have to solve this problem by assuming the whether the input. There are two input. One is Q1S and one is Q3S, and there is one output. So this is called as MIMO system. You have to assume the Q3 equal to zero, and then you can find out transfer function. You have to require lot of adjustments here. To you have to shift the takeoff points.